Hello everybody and welcome to your second wire mod tutorial for Gary's mod. Now I had some users saying that the first tutorial I made uh, with the trap was a little bit complicated so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a step back and do a really basic tutorial for wire mod. And uh, what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you an object in wire mod called a lamp. And that is pretty much, you can think of it as a flashlight and uh, you know you can turn it on and off and you can change the color the texture the pattern all that kind of stuff so first I'll show you what the lamp actually looks like we're gonna go ahead down this dark room here and we're going to hold down Q and go under the display tab now uh, here's the lamp right here about midway down and you can see that you know it comes with a whole bunch of options I'm just gonna place one and show you what it does so as you can see uh, I have the kaleidoscope like texture on and you know it pretty much displays the texture and I can you know point this around move it around whatever I want to do and uh, that's the lamp so in this tutorial like I said I'm gonna show you how to turn it on and off with a button and also you know, customize the lamp a little bit to uh, make it fit however you want so you're just going to go under your lamp and you're going to want to make sure this constraint box right here is set to weld. If it was on rope and you were to place it, you can see that the flashlight hangs from a rope. And we don't want that. We want it to be in a fixed position. So again, just change the constraint to weld. Now here you can change the color of your lamp. Now you can put this any color you want. Uh, let's do green for example. Now here are all your patterns that you can do. So here's a unique one called caustic. And if I were to place that, it's almost like a shimmering effect. Now of course it works better in the dark. So if I were to go down here and put the shimmering effect, you can see what it looks like. So all that aside, we're going to go back up to our previous one here. And um, for the sake of the tutorial, I'm not going to leave the caustic effect on. I'm actually going to just use a regular hard light kind of texture. Now, when I place this, it should shine green, which it does. Now, like I said, you can change the textures here, but what about turning it on and off? Well, there's no feature for that right on the lamp itself, so what we're going to need to do is use a little bit of wiring and hook it up to a switch. So to start that off, all you're going to do is you're going to want to go down to the wire input output section and you're going to click on button. Now here you can change whatever looking button you want. So uh, you can do from this red button here to these blue buttons here to a car key if you really wanted to. Uh, I'm going to choose just this little, actually that's a little bit too small. I'll choose... Hmm, there's a lot of choices here, but I'll choose this one little rocker switch. Now I'll place it here, and hopefully you guys can see that all right. And all you're going to want to do is similar to the tutorial that I uploaded before. You're just going to go to your wire advance tool, and you're going to hover over the flashlight. Now you may get a little um, confused or nervous here, but all it is is all the settings are listed here that you can change on the lamp. Now all we're looking for is the on um, the on section. So the red, green, and blue, that's all for color stuff, the brightness and distance. I you may be able to guess that, but that's just to adjust the brightness and distance. But we want to be able to turn it on and off. So what we're gonna do is we're going to scroll all the way down to on, and again you can right click to go down, or you can use the scroll wheel. And you're just gonna click when you get to the on section. Now all you're going to do is you're going to come up and point at your switch. And it says out when you hover over it. And that's what you want. So this switch here is a basic component in wire mod. When it is on, it puts out a 1. And when it is off, it puts out a 0. So as of now, it is off. So it's sending a 0 to the lamp. And you can think of a 0 as off. So when a zero is sent to the lamp, so off is sent to the lamp, the off, or the lamp is off. If a one was sent to the lamp, the lamp would turn on. 
Now one important thing I forgot to tell you about the switch is you're going to want to make sure, if we go back up to button, that toggle is checked. Now if you didn't have it checked, don't worry, all you're going to do is you're just going to check the box now, aim at it so the little uh, speech bubble comes up and just click and that will update the switch. So now that you have your switch here, your wire running from your switch to your lamp and the actual lamp itself, all is left to do is to turn the switch on. So if you just look at it, you hit E, you can see that the lamp turns on. And then if I hit E on it again, the lamp turns off. And that's E for me, guys. Whatever your use key is, that's what you're going to want to press. But as you can see, you can turn it on and off right here. So that concludes this tutorial on how to turn a lamp on and off and experimenting around. And again, you can you know go back under your lamps and experiment around with the different colors, the different textures. Like I could put a Gary's Mod logo down here if I wanted to. You know, all that kind of stuff. So, uh, again, I conclude you with this. And any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Remember to like the video, subscribe, and thanks for watching.